Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, very chill, very cozy video where I will take you book shopping with me downtown Montreal. Um, I haven't filmed any video like this before and frankly, I don't really go book shopping a lot. I don't buy a lot of books anymore because I'm really trying to read the books that I have. And I also buy a lot of books online, so I rarely go in the store, but Today, um, I think for the first time, or at least that I know of, there's a special event at All Indigos across Canada, I believe. And it's an event where you get 30% off every single book in the store if you have the Plum Plus membership. I don't even need to go and spend that much money, but just being in the bookstore is gonna make me feel really happy. And also, I haven't been to the Indigo in downtown in a long time. Um, I used to work right next, and I would always go like on my lunch breaks and stuff just to go walk around the store. Store. It's a really, really nice store. It's one of my favorites personally. And yeah, I feel like going there now, even though it's a bit of a drive. I have an indigo that's closer to me. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go there. I also think that I'm gonna take this opportunity to go walk around downtown because I haven't been downtown in a long time. So I actually used to live downtown, I would say in 2017 ish, and I used to work downtown also up until COVID when I changed jobs right before COVID. And I haven't been since then. So the last time would be in February, 2020. As for the book buying that I'm gonna do, I'm really gonna try not to spend too much money. Um, and I've also updated my TBR and the things that I actually want to read. There's one thing that I absolutely want to buy and that would be books from the Saxon Stories series. So I've really been into The Last Kingdom lately. So if you're into, you know, like Vikings and the Saxons and this specific like period of time, I'm the Last Kingdom is an amazing show. I've been watching it with my boyfriend and it's it's amazing. It's really good. And it's basically based on the books by Bernard Cornwell. So the Saxon Stories has, I believe like 12 books or something. And they're really short too, which is really nice. Um, and I've been talking about these books with like other people in the Discord who have also read them and said they're super good. So yeah, I feel like starting the series now, even though I've watched a full four seasons, I still wanna read the books. So that's something I'm gonna for sure try to buy, like at least the first, three books in the series and also I'd like to buy The Winter King by Bernard Cornwell which is his other series which is an Arthurian series. I don't really read books based on the Legend of Arthur usually so that's definitely like books that I want to get. Apart from that I do give myself like a discretionary budget to buy other things um, but yeah I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's a really good deal also to have like 30% off everything. And it was a good opportunity for me to just show you what Indigo uh, downtown Montreal looks like. So without any further ado, let's go to Indigo.
you guys i don't think you understand like when the girl gave me the total amount of my bill i thought she'd made a mistake i thought she'd forgot to like scan something because it cost me 82 dollars for nine books um 82 dollars canadian that's a really good deal so basically everything was 30 percent off all the books that i got and i also had 20 dollars in store credit so let me just show you really quickly what i bought first off i have a good girl's guide to murder by holly jackson so this is a book that i've been suggesting for a couple of months in the discord that i've been wanting to read if nobody wants to read it it's fine but i've been wanting to read this this is a ya like thriller mystery. I also bought Senlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. So a lot of people have been talking about this on like the fantasy booktube. Next I have Hollow Pox by Jessica Townsend. This is the third book in the Nevermore series. I have books one and two on my shelf. I only read book one so far, so I wanted to complete my series. Next I bought two books from the Saxon stories. So Hela and Kyle are gonna be very happy about that. Now I picked up books one and three because they didn't have book two. Actually no they had book two but it was like the tv tie-in one with Utre on i was like no 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 i'm not getting that and if i want to read these books i want them to look like the same on my shelf so i'm so so happy to have these i'm probably gonna start reading this one tonight actually also from bernard cornwell i bought the winter king um this is another one that i've been suggesting in the discord and i'm apparently the only one who wants to read this i think the series for this one is shorter in terms of books than the saxon stories but the books are bigger so it kind of comes out to the same thing next i pick up a book that i wasn't really planning on picking up but i don't know i've heard a lot of good things about it and that is lore by alexandra bracken i know a lot of people have liked this this came out like a couple of months ago and i've really been into like greek mythology and things like that since I've been playing like so much Assassin's Creed Odyssey lately so I figured maybe keep the mood going you know the other book I picked I really wasn't planning on getting this one but this is Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames I don't know I've heard a lot of people talking about this book lately people have been saying that if you like Mistborn this is a really good pick for it I feel like this book not a lot of people talk about it on booktube so it kind of interests me because of that like it's not too hyped but the people that have read it really liked it and then the last book I have is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes so this is another one that I've been trying to push people in the discord to vote for it and I feel like I'm the only one who wants to read it so the grand total of these books is a hundred and two dollars for nine books and i had my points so it came out to 82 dollars i'm so happy i actually went to that event it was really worth it because sometimes at indigo like if you live in canada you know they have really good prices online but they don't usually have like good prices in the store and they do get like discounts on books when they've just came out like when they're like recent bestsellers are gonna like have 30 to 40 percent discounts but then it doesn't really last so a book like lore from alexandra bracken like was probably discounted right when it came out but if you want to read it like a couple of months after it always goes back to full price you know so yeah i'm really happy with my purchases so right now it is 7 40 and like i mentioned earlier i really haven't been in downtown for a long time um my boyfriend is working tonight so i he's not going to be home and i'm just going to take that time to go and walk in downtown um, I used to work here I used to live here right now I'm actually right next to the building that I used to work at before COVID and I actually like that job so it's like I don't know I'm kind of emotional being here um, but yeah the city is just as beautiful as it always is it's been so long since I've seen the city at night with just all the lights and stuff it's a super like chill nice evening it's not too cold so join me in my little walk downtown Montreal mm -hmm. 